Okay, the drawers are pretty much done. and I've just vacuumed everything off. Um, well, almost everything. I haven't done the frames yet. But I thought I would put the first coat of stain on this unit and then set it off to the side and work on cabinet faces. Uh, so I'm gonna mix some stain, my own stain color. I don't like anything they got, so I'm gonna mix some up. Let you know what I come up with. Fifty milliliters of English chestnut 233 to a quart can of golden pecan 245. And this is what I came up with. I'm not absolutely pleased with it. Maybe it'll appeal to me a little bit more once I get a clear coat or three clear coats on it. Uh, but it's it's stained. <laughs> I need to finish this project. So uh, what I did is I vacuumed it with the shop vac. I went over it in detail with uh, with some uh, cloth. It's a tack cloth, Home Depot kind of thing. I used these really cool pads. They seem to work really well for staining. Uh, they're called staining pads, and I got those at Home Depot as well. Well, I've stained my drawers. Ha ha, I didn't mean it that way. And, um, and the back sides of my drawer fronts and cabinet doors. And now I think it's 24 hours. It'll be tomorrow. I'll start over here, put a clear coat. Well, actually I'll probably stain these. No, I'll put a clear coat on, I don't know what I'm gonna do. As you know, I never do know what I'm gonna do until I sit down and think about it for a minute so anyway that's a wrap for the day i think i'm gonna let this stuff set in and dry and uh, we'll get back at it tomorrow all right so i need some drying room so i've uh put up a few boards here on some ladders to give me a little drying rack. Um, I need to move these. These haven't been, it's supposed to be 24 hours. So since I did these last night, I probably will put a coat on these tonight. But I did this one starting, well, it was kind of early afternoon, late morning. So I'll figure out a way to get that up on the table so I can paint it or put the clear coat on it. And I'll probably have to get another can or two of this stuff. I love polycrylic. I put it on everything. It's uh, semi-gloss, dries great, um, doesn't leave brush strokes, that kind of thing. I'm not sure how it's gonna work on vertical surfaces. I've always done flat surfaces. So when I do this guy, I don't really wanna lay it over. So we'll give it a try and see how it works out. All right, again, onward and sideways. Okay. Gonna have to uh, wait a while on these until they dry. And of course, another trip to Home Depot. I uh, got some flat black to go around the bottom so it disappears, and that looks pretty good. That flat black, it's not gonna care if there's uh, brush strokes in it or whatever, you'll never see it. All right. So I've uh, sanded down these cabinet faces and stuff with uh, 400 grit sandpaper. And what, what happens is when you stain it, you know, you, for instance, on the uh, plywood, the first, the stain raises the grain a little bit and it, it becomes a little bit bumpy and, and a little furry, no matter what, even if it's already been sanded. And uh, then when you add your clear coat, your first coat of clear coat, it's kind of bumpy, but it solidifies, it, it hardens up all those little hairs that you get after staining. And so you sand those off. I've used 440 grit, and now I'm gonna head over and do, uh, you know, get it cleaned up, vacuum blow it off, use some tack cloth, get it cleaned up good enough to put another coat on it. But this project's dragging along. 
Um, seems like the never-ending project, which means it's a never-ending video. So I'm going to end this video here right now. Like I said before, I don't like to make long videos and let them drag out in case you want to go somewhere else and do something else or whatever. Um, but thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share it, like it, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. I don't know how long it'll be before I post the next one. I'll probably have to make a little more progress on this thing, Get maybe, maybe get it in the house, and then I'll send something up. I don't know. All right, thanks for watching.